What's going on YouTube? It's Chun again. I'm back and I got another OU battle for you guys today. This is against Selkies for the win. And this is a rematch. I lost to him last time, so let's see if I can even up the score. I'm going to lead off with my Swampert. He's going to lead off with Fortress and I'm going to deal with this Fortress the same way I deal with all Fortresses when I'm leading with Swampert. I'll get my rocks up and then roar it out before it gets too many layers of spikes. He, I get his Gyarados. Um, I got a little bit nervous here because I don't deal with Gyarados too well, admittedly. But I'm now going to immediately switch to Rotom. And he's, but he's going to go straight for the Waterfall. Um, it was too early to set up. I don't even know why I was expecting Dragon Dance there. But anyway, um, I just go for Discharge here and hope for the best. He actually switches out. He might have thought I was Choice Scarfed and I would outspeed and hit him with a Thunderbolt. And he goes into his Snorlax, Arnold. And I knew exactly what kind of Snorlax this was because I know where he got it from because I got one from the same place. It is a Curse Lax. I switch out after getting a, a Parahax on the Discharge, go immediately to Swampert because I didn't want it cursing up. He gets Parahax first turn, kind of sucks for him. I'm going to roar it out here, and he's going to go for the Body Slam, and he gets the Parahax on me. So, I get his Gyarados again. So, it is taking Rock damage from the Stealth Rock, but I still don't really like dealing with it. But, I'm now going to go for Ice Beam, because I really just want to get damage on this thing. He's going to go straight for the Waterfall again which makes sense because he hasn't seen all my team members yet. I get a crit on the Ice Beam, which it, it, it mattered, especially as you'll see later on. But he's now finally going to set up with Dragon Dance. I guess after seeing that I'm not going to roar it out. I do go for, actually I do go for roar there. But um, I get the Parahax. He goes for the Waterfall. And I get the Parahax again. But in hindsight, he probably might have had Taunt. It is a bulky gear. I did see the leftovers, so. Um, I now go into Rotom. I just let him finish off my Swampert. And he's now going to take my Rotom down. I kind of regretted it later on, as you'll see, because this Caesar does a number on me but I'm now gonna go into Dragonite I go for the extreme speed and I get a crit on the extreme speed which might have mattered it wouldn't have taken Gyarados out but if he was running the standard bulky Gyarados with Stone Edge Metagross could have came in and taken him on one on one but he, he's now gonna go back into his Snorlax and I'm just gonna finish it off with a superpower because I don't want to deal with that curse lax um, so his Snorlax goes down he is now going to go into his Caesar, and I believe, I, I, I went for Fire Blast here, but he just goes straight for the Bullet Punch, takes down my Dragonite, I probably should have saved Dragonite for later on, seeing as he was the only other poke I had with a Fire Move, aside for Rot Rotom who's packing Hidden Power Fire, but I'm now going to go into Metagross, I was not paying attention at all to his leftovers, I totally thought it was choice. But he goes straight for the Brick Break, and after seeing that, I'm guessing it's some type of Swords Dancer, so I'm going to go for an Earthquake as he goes for Brick Break again. I'm going to lose the damage race here, and my Earthquake really didn't do that much, so I'm going to switch out, go back to Swampert for Death Fodder. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I was thinking here, as he would just Brick Break again, and it was dangerous in hindsight because he could have went for a Swords Dance. I now go into Gallade, and he switches to Fortress as I go for the uh, for a Will-O-Wisp, which was an extremely dangerous play on my part because if he's got Caesar and Fortress, you know he's gonna have Heatran. Heatran could have easily came in and absorbed the Will-O-Wisp, but I'm gonna go for close combat now. After I hit with the second Will-O-Wisp, but it looks like it's physically defensive. So that's not going to go over too good. I'm going to switch out here and go to Togekiss because I really wanted to get damage on this thing and I figured I could take it out with Air Slash 
which was probably a two hit KO. But he's just gonna explode, which I considered, but I figured it was burned, so it wouldn't hurt that bad. I still thought I was gonna finish my total kiss off, but I actually live it, which is amazing. He's now gonna go into his heat trend. I'm just gonna keep total kiss in because with rocks up, he's not gonna be able to come in again. And I didn't want Gallade taking damage, I wanted it to come in safely. I now go into Gallade, even after rocks and spikes damage. I'm gonna live his next flamethrower and I'm gonna finish off his heat trend with a close combat. It was probably choice scarfed, uh, is what I'm guessing. But he's now gonna go back to Caesar, and this is pretty much my last stand here as far as trying to win this battle. He's gonna finish me with a bullet punch. My last guy is Metagross, and he's gonna die from the entry hazards but it was a great game Selkies. Um I definitely hope to play you again sometime and maybe try to even things up but anyway guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you love the content and Sean is out peace